Welcome back to a new video today I am coming in with a makeup tutorial because you guys have been requesting for my makeup routine and I just decided to share this with you guys and give you guys like my basic step the first thing that I like to do as you guys can see my lips are actually very dry so we moisturize and then I'm going in with my beauty by 80 setting spray I use the setting spray because I don't prime my face um, no reasons for that honestly so I just use a setting spray before and after after. right now I'm basically just cleaning up my brows I don't do this all the time but my brows right now they just really needed a trim so this is not like in all my makeup steps okay and after I'm done with my brows I go in with my Maybelline fit me foundation in the shade 365 and this foundation when I tell you it blends effortlessly guys I'm sure you can see how I'm just easily tapping it onto my skin and it's just blending and you really don't need so much but I would highly advise like, if you're using this foundation it doesn't have a lot of coverage if you are someone who has dark spots you want to double down on the foundation and I'm blending this in with a beauty sponge the beauty sponge is from Inua Beauty here in Nigeria it is very soft and this is typically all that I use to get my makeup blended so if I use a brush I would typically just go in with a beauty sponge to blend everything out again because I just feel like I get the perfect um, coverage and blend with a beauty blender okay so we can see the blend all right so make sure you blend guys the key to getting a flawless beat is blending and blending and blending so right now I'm going in with my LA girl pro concealer and um, I think I'm using the shade I can't remember but I'm gonna put it on the screen right and I'm just blending that out again with a beauty blender and you typically want to concentrate on the inner corner of your eye and then just spread it out a little bit so we are going for a bright under eye which is something that I actually learned from Mela Child so the bright under eye just gives you a more classy look gives what it's supposed to give basically so um, try focusing on the inner corners of your eye and then blend your way out to the outer corners of your eye basically you don't want to use too much concealer because it might be too much for you to handle so if you're someone who is learning you can build up on your concealer and you don't use so much all at once I'm highlighting my forehead and then I'm also highlighting my nose just so that we can get the nose snatched the key to a flawless bit you guys the key to a flawless bit is patience you need to be patient with blending even if you are in a hurry just make sure that you blend properly okay you can't be having any harsh lines everything needs to come in together so now I'm just going into blend my nose make sure there are no harsh lines and we're not looking funny <laughs> so now i'm also using the beauty by ad setting powder in tawny this is my perfect perfect shade and typically i just place this um where i have highlighted and i blend that out immediately so i don't bake my face okay i know that is contrary to what we learned in the beginning but i don't bake my face i just set it and then blend it out immediately and i feel like that gives me a more flawless look it gives me a more natural look so i just like to blend everything out as i'm applying it Next up, I'm going in with this shade from Beauty by AD eyeshadow palette. So this is what I use to basically just contour my face and give me a little bit of depth. If you guys know me from when I used to do makeup before, I used to break a lot of makeup rules. So if you don't have a bronzer, if you don't have contour palettes, you can use your eyeshadow palette as your contour and blush okay i break a lot of makeup rooms <laughs> so now i'm just going ahead to brush my brows upwards and then i just go in with my benoit beauty eyebrow pencil and then i just outline my brows the bottom the top and then i fill it in very lightly i'm not someone who has sparse brows so i have a lot of full brows so filling it in doesn't take 
much of my time i just create light strokes and i'm good so you can feel free to create strokes in the beginning of the brow and also just brush it upwards just so that everything blends I always try to brush your brows with the spoolie just so that everything blends together and we're done with the feeling of the brows okay so next i'm going to be concealing with the same concealer which i use which is the la girl concealer right and i think i have a brow tutorial i don't know if you guys want an updated brow tutorial i don't know but basically just use this to clean your brows and if you're someone who is just learning makeup i think with practice it gets easier because i i can see from this video even me as i'm looking at this video i'm doing this thing so effortlessly but it's really not that simple at first so with time you just get used to your own brows you know where to cut you know where to conceal and all of that so i do advise that if you're trying to learn makeup you just do a lot of practice with the brows your brows literally shape your face okay so your brows need to you need to get the brows right so then i go in with this brush the brushes that i'm using actually are from zaron cosmetics i have had these brushes since i think 2017 or 2018 and these are the brushes i've been using ever since they've not broken brushes themselves they've not you know fallen off i just use zara cosmetics brush set to do my makeup okay so now i'm gonna be using um this brown shade right here this is supposed to be like a contour shade but it's too light for me so i use it on my eyelids as a sort of eyeshadow so this is almost like my everyday look the only difference is that i went on to use a red lip okay this is typically what i do for my everyday makeup look so if you have a brown powder that is a little bit darker than your normal powder you could use that on your eyes and just blend that in properly next up i'm going in to my lips and i'm just going in with my lip pencil to just line my lips and then i go in with this red shade right here then um, i went in with my chapstick again to just um add a little bit of smoothness because this is a very dry matte red lipstick okay so i just had to moisturize my lips one more time next up i am going in with a mascara i'm just going to take my mascara and just um apply that to my lashes top lashes bottom lashes it just gets the whole look together okay so define the lashes because that is what mascara does so you just define them so that they pop i just go in with my lashes so the lashes i use are from mismetics and this is what they look like they look so yummy and full and gorgeous next up <laughs> next up i go in with my highlighter from beauty by ad i think in the shade sheen to just get that highlight popping and i don't do too much i really like to keep it simple with my makeup i really like to keep it simple and calm with my makeup no too much highlights you know just keep everything on the minimum okay so i go ahead and use my fingers to just apply um some highlighter on my nose then again i go in with some contour shade the same shades that i used to contour my face and i just use the same blending brush that i use for my eyes um and just use that to blend that out properly so that we can have a more defined um, nose okay so typically this is all that I do and we're done that is my routine it's really simple nothing too deep nothing too extra I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I really hope it was helpful and you learned a thing or two thank you guys so much for watching this video if you are new please feel free to subscribe to the channel like this video share this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys